So fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome often go together. Uh, fibromyalgia is an interesting uh, diagnosis. Often in the past it's called a trash can diagnosis. In other words, we've ruled out everything else. You've got muscle pain, so we're going to give you a diagnosis that in uh, another language means muscle pain. Chronic fatigue syndrome often goes with it. So the people who have muscle pain in these, you know, 11 of these 18 particular points, and we can't find any other reason for it, are often chronically tired as well. Um, one a scientific study recently in the last few years found that the hole in the bottom of the skull that the, that the brain stem, the brain sends all the messages through or most of them through in these, in many, in a high uh, percentage of the population is smaller than average. So what they do is they would surgically bore that hole out larger and would it immediately give them some results, but it caused more problems later. So my feeling on that is your body is made with its own intelligence. And that intelligence tells it how to make different things. So usually it's not going to make things wrong. But if you have a small hole, for lack of a better word, in the bottom of your skull where all the nerves are going through and the bone right directly underneath is not lined up properly, well now that small hole is even smaller. And uh, that can cause some severe problems, one of which is fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. So I have had several patients over the years come in with one or both of those diagnoses and we've adjusted them and they've gotten better. Sometimes it's just that they can manage the muscle pain and the fatigue better. Sometimes it's they're cleared up and it seems to go away entirely.